Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. Researchers at the Virginia Bioinformatics Institute at Virginia Tech have assembled the draft genome sequence of a marine algae nanochloropus gatine that may be capable of producing the lipid yields necessary for a viable fuel source. Algae is an ideal alternative renewable fuel source because it can use various water sources ranging from wastewater to brickish water and can be grown in small intensive plots on denuded land. Further analysis has revealed that with genetic modification, Nagatatana should be capable of producing biofuel on an industrial scale, which may be the wave of the future in fuel research and production. Third world ranchers have been using methane from manure to run electrical generators, and now the U.S. is also benefiting from this same clean burning biogas. About 80% of the estimated 160 biogas energy projects in the United States are currently installed on dairy farms which then combust the gas to generate electricity. A large portion of the U.S. biogas energy projects are found in New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, and Wisconsin. Among other states, Vermont has been a standout because Central Vermont Public Service, the state's largest utility, has delivered over 47 million kilowatt hours of local cow power to some 3% of its 160,000 customers. Southern Company and Alstom have begun testing technology to support the development of advanced ultra supercritical boilers. Advanced ultra supercritical boilers use higher temperature and pressure to generate electricity with greater efficiency and reduced emissions of sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, particulates, and carbon dioxide. The two year project will gather data on the performance of alloy materials under advanced ultra supercritical temperatures of about 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, Onyoke Partners will invest another $140 million to $160 million to construct a 270-mile natural gas gathering system and related infrastructure in Divide County, North Dakota. The new natural gas gathering system is expected to be complete in the second half of 2013, and the system will gather and deliver natural gas from producers in the Back and Shale in the Wilson Basin to the State Line 2 Natural Gas Processing Facility in Western Williams County. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.